Hello, what's up guys? Uh, today I want to show you guys a lot of things, but first I want to tell you this. Um, the tutorial series are, is going to end soon, so I'm going to make it fast and long videos for the next couple of vi videos. Um, I also have to say f for my team that uh, this channel is not for tutorials only, uh, only. It, it is for uh, our game 9 of 5 but this is also for our upcoming projects and not only for tutorials so if you have any request for tu tu for an for a tutorial just uh, p uh, place a comment or send us a personal message but uh, don't go all crazy and ask us for scripts or ask us to do this and that for your project uh, that we are not gonna do that uh, so today I am wanna start by explaining uh, the the net the NAT uh, here in the initialized server there's a false uh, parameter false means that you're not gonna use net true means you're gonna use net uh, the reason why you should use net is because if you are behind a firewall or maybe your route is, uh, is configured that you uh, need to use net f uh, for inbound and, uh, and outbound uh, connectivity but um, using net is really helpful for uh, those persons who don't know how to configure uh, a firewall or the port forwarding. Uh, when you're using net, you don't have to port forward. Uh, you don't have to port forward uh, your port that you're using. But uh, the net, uh, the NAT uh, component of your router should be on to to be able to use this. Uh, I got lots of uh, comments and error messages that you guys get um, that uh, you can't connect to the to the vacillator vacillator or, or something like that the vacillator is is a server run by the unity uh, guys that helps you to see what kind of net you have and uh, if the if if you get an error that you can't connect to the to the to their server, it means that your firewall is blocking the port, or the server is offline. It's run by the Unity guys, but it, they can't. Um, it's for testing only. So, if it's offline for some time, then you don't have you you can't complain to them because it's only for testing. You can host your own uh, server by downloading the software. The software is provided on the Unity server. Then um, the first thing on gameplay I want to show you guys, and maybe also the last thing I don't really know, uh, is the aim down the side. And after that, I'm, I'm gonna show you guys how to spawn and see each other. And the, for the aim down the side, we're gonna go to Unity, open the play controller, then we're gonna. Um, See, yep, make a new controller here. Public void ADS controller. Make it so that it's called by the fixed update. Then, uh, here in the weapon info, we're gonna make a new class that's called weapon. Uh, scope in weapon scope we're gonna add a public string name a public float the field of field and a public factor tree uh, ADS position that's all and here we're gonna need a public um, let me see list Oops. Oh man, uh, wait a second. So, open scope called scopes is new list weapon. If you're using JavaScript, use array list or the built in uh, list. If you're using C sharp, uh, I advise that you use that you uh, that you use list because it's really handy and it's fast to do. Uh, make sure 
we also need a, another variable. It's called public int current scope, so that we can iterate here in the, through the scopes with this int. So when you are doing customization or something like that, then when you spawn, you have to assign this current scope. Then we, when you whip a weapon switch, I'm gonna explain that in the next uh, tutorial video. Uh, then when you weapon switch, you gotta uh, go to this, iterate to this number, activate the scope, and then you're done. Oh wait, with activating, we need a public transform. Call it scope <coughs> transform. In the ADS controller, you need to add um, uh, if statement with oops input dot get um, button button is it button is it the button button and then call it fire two fire two is your white mouse button but you can also do that fire two is maybe the the white trigger of your Xbox 360 controller because Unity just supports it uh, but you need to configure it in the input list like I did but not in a tutorial but on my own game line of fire here it also of else then the first thing we're gonna do is uh, something somewhere here somewhere here was standing um, okay let's add a comment called uh, player variables and then we need a public pool is aiming and a public no 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 let's aim for later for now is aiming is aiming you can do is aiming is true oops is aiming is false what we're gonna do now is we need uh, another holder and it's gonna be called uh, ADS holder here we're gonna ADS holder we're gonna need to change the position to the current scope of the current weapon so ADS holder dot position for the guys who don't know how to use lerp or slurp or move towards uh, we're gonna use a uh, lerp for now because lerp is the easiest you can use is factor 3 dot lerp then you need to copy this one oh wait I made a mistake position it needs to be local position copy here this one then go to current weapon yes and scopes it weighted with current weapon dot current scope and then we need the ADS position and then add a comma and then the speed I always do 0 0.25f why the f it's a float uh, everything with a comma or a dot in uh, computer language, it's a, it's a dot. You need in the, in C sharp, you need to add a F so it's so it's get recognized by the compiler that it's a float and not an int. If you add, if you don't add the F, you are gonna get errors. Just copy this one, place it here, remove the current weapon, and replace it with factor three dot uh, zero. And that's basically it. Then we just need to save this, go back into Unity, go into first person controller, and then here we have our scopes list. At one, I call, I'm gonna call it Iron Sight uh, 45 fourth ADS position. First, we're gonna add the layer. Weapon walk, weapon jump, weapon sway, weapon recoil. We're gonna add it uh, below on the lowest. So add the empty game object, object. Drag it into weapon recoil holder. Make it zero it out. Then call it ADS holder. 
drag your weapons to the ADS holder just press continue press apply so it gets saved and then just drag your ADS controller holder to here press apply again sorry for that then you can just um, uh, if you are configuring this in in play mode uh, make sure you wipe it, the car nades down because everything you change in play mode uh, doesn't get saved and now I'm not in play mode so we can just do like this maybe two no one nine uh, zero dot one no zero one zoom one in bit no not too much Then just copy your coordinates to here. And then zero this one out. You can press play. Then if you press the right mouse button, you aim. That's simple as that. Maybe the idea is it glitches but uh, you got an ID. With the is aiming a variable bo boolean, you can uh, you can do that. Your recall gets is different. Uh, like um, the camera goes with your recall so that it doesn't behave like this. But for now, you get the point. Now we just need to change the field of view. Feel feel is 45. Do we have a player camera here? Nope, we don't. Then make a public transform. You can do camera if you want. Public transform uh, player camera. And then we go here to the ADS controller. Uh, then we do player camera dot camera dot field of field is um mat dot lerp then copy this one again comma you can copy this one without the alias position five and then again the zero dot two five f and copy this place it here Zero, save, go again. Press play. Oh, wait, forgot to assign it. And then just drag your camera to your play camera slot. Then if you press play. Oh, ooh, that's not fine. Oh yeah, now <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, the zero has to be sixty or seventy or eighty. What your field view is. Uh, standard is 60 so if I go here then if I zoom in you see that I have my that it zooms in it's really pretty nice okay moving on to the um, to the spawning it's gonna take some time so this video is gonna be a little bit long uh, we need to be, uh, be at the multiplayer manager in the start, I forgot to do this uh, last time. You need to add a don't destroy unload because you don't want to destroy this game object when the map is loading. Then just add game object. Then if you go, um, well, I can do this on the, a simple way, and then you get the point. I, I can also do the more. Uh, better way but it's gonna take a very long time for that so I'm just gonna do the simple way and you have to then figure out how to bring it to other script I'm just gonna do that match then if um, we're gonna add a fight spawn menu do you have on GY here nope 
just edit on with capital O and GY with capital G because <coughs> I know this you guys make lots of mistakes with the capitals because C sharp is a capital um, what's it called uh, well you have to know, you have to um, be careful with capitals because is because uh, you need to type exactly what it says in the scripting reference otherwise it won't work okay here we're gonna add for that now well um, general multiplayer modes uh, public well yeah make it public public MP player my player we also need a public uh, transform make it an array spawn points we're gonna change the MP player we're gonna add two variables well three public uh, bull player is alive public int not a float because otherwise you can add uh, points f after the comma public int uh, player kills and public int player deaths That's basically it. Then uh, here, on the connected to server and connected uh, on server initialized, we need. Oh wait, not yet. Server plane join request. Follow the here. Client add play to list. Client add play to list. And then new MP player. Okay. We gonna do that if view dot oops view dot uh, now we can do is, is it mine? Okay, network dot player is view. If it's view, then uh, my player is gonna be temp player. If you don't do this, you're gonna have to iterate uh, through the player list, and that it's is kind is a little bit slower than uh, going directly into the MP player. Then here we do. If our player is dead, so my player, uh, wait, at uh, shift one here in front, I don't know the name, sorry for my bad English. English. Uh, if player isn't alive, we're gonna show the spawn menu. Th this is the basic form, you can maybe add a timing to it, but uh, I'm just here to show you guys how it works. Then in the spawn menu, we're gonna add a button. GY dot a button. In the button, we're gonna add spawn. Oops, now we need to position first. <coughs> new whacked. Every time I say whacked, I want to say whacked them, but that's kind of childish. Um, we're gonna add five comma because I wanted to have it in the left uh, lower corner cor corner we're gonna have five and we're gonna have screen dot height minus 40 we're gonna add uh, 250 and we're gonna add 35 so we have a kind of big button make it a if statement remove this one here and do that if uh, the player wants to spawn, we're gonna ask uh, the server. So we're gonna make a RPC call for it server dot uh, spawn player. Uh, if you, if the player will, uh, wants to spawn, you're gonna ask the, the server for the position of the of of uh, of uh, available uh, spawn point. Um, if you do it through the server, you can you have uh, you can decrease the um, uh, you have you can uh, what is called you uh, you don't have any hackers then hacking this um, the spawning in your games since it's uh, going through the uh, to the server. At, uh, but if the server is hacked, then you you have a big problem. We're gonna add another RPC call 
for the client we're gonna call it spawn yeah spawn player for the client here we're gonna no. um, here we need a network player got player same for here but here we also need a factor tree called position and a career turn for rotation here we're gonna um, well uh, do I have it on level loaded uh, no no I don't okay I have to go to the scripting reference for a second scripting reference then on level loaded there it is uh, level loaded then level on level was loaded come on help me yes finally okay and there we go back to official studio uh add another void here on level loaded if application dot loaded level is current map dot load map load name map load name then it means that we are that we have loaded the current map then we're gonna need a spawn point is game object dot find uh let me see let me see game objects with tag spawn point and it's going wrong loaded loaded level name okay and what's the problem here game object to transform oh oops okay go back here make this a game object oh crap object done done then in the service spawn player that's a player um, we're gonna add um, uh, let me see network view dot rpc leave it empty uh, to the player and uh, I'm gonna tell you the guys a story um, comma uh, add player here again no uh, this player, the first player, has to be RPC mode dot all. Add here player, and leave that. This is gonna miss. You, sorry for that. Here at the end, called uh, maybe AA one, but I'm gonna call it number spawn. Blah blah blah. Uh, is <coughs> is no is uh, random dot. Uh, let me see random range. Zero is the minimum, and the maximum is the spawn point dot length minus one. Why minus one? Because computers count uh, on uh, with the starting number one, and not and not like we humans do. We start at one, computers start at zero. Then number spawn. We're gonna here at spawn point it wait to that number uh, dot position the transform that position sorry and do the same with spawn points same number dot transform dot whoa Asian. close it here in the RPC all um in the RPC mode all you don't have any problems with that if you are the server uh you can't however uh, send a message to yourself. You can't do if you are the surf. You can't use RPC mode that surf. You have to uh, call it to everybody or other, or ca or call the the method uh, locally and not through uh, RPC. But for now, we for, uh, in this uh, f f function we're gonna use the the RPC mode all. Then here, if we get a request. Uh, let me see play network we also need uh oh wait I totally forgot something 
We're gonna need a, another script. Gold. Um, C sharp. We create C sharp and we got player manager. What's gonna player manager do? Player manager is gonna is gonna um, is gonna manage all the damage scripts and etc. Then save yes. Uh, here we need a public MP player. Uh, if I can this player that we also need gonna need a public void I right, you guys are still following me uh, I'm kinda doing it fast and messy but uh, I'm really sorry for this but uh, you gotta bear with me I did it I did the same with my game <laughs> public flight handle bullet damage and is damage and then here at void start we also gonna need another variable called public um player no 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 yes player player controller controller and um, a public transform controller trans form at start we're gonna add that no let me see uh, this player is gonna be assigned by multiplayer manager and controller and yes controller it was controller transform dot game object dot set active recursive and make it false Done. The handle bullet, the bullet damage. Um, handle bullet damage. Then we're gonna do this player dot health. If I add health, no, sorry. Multiplayer manager add uh, public. Well, you can choose int or float. I'm gonna do int public int player health. Is 100. Then we're gonna do that is uh, this player that held minus is damage. And maybe for later when you want to add the kill feed, uh, it just add an uh, another uh, parameter there with a string weapon. Then when you, somebody dies, you uh, register the kill. I'm gonna show you that uh, later. You register the kill. And then you can show the weapon. And then for here, uh, if this player dot player health is lower or is zero, except if you want to do battlefield tree style that you can have zero, then remove this. But I'm gonna add this. Then he's dead. Then this player this player isn't alive anymore this player dot health is zero because if it's lower than zero it has to be zero otherwise you can have some bugs but if it isn't you can add like uh, get damage uh, RPC so that it plays a get damage uh, animation I don't know but that's only for if you add the else and you have the animations etc uh, well you also need the else for like hit markers that you can send back the 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 um, that you can send a message back that you have hit me or hit somebody and the bullet damage oh wait it needs server oh uh, crap I've totally done it wrong yeah, make this one server. This will make me server RPC. Then just copy the handle bullet damage. Make it a uh, void bullet damage. Uh, again with int damage. <coughs> we need a network view that 
RPC. Copy this method here. Oops, in it. And then RPC mode server, comma. Uh, let me think. Damage. Well, damage. Uh, the problem with this, you can if you are the server and you are shooting at somebody, you can't use this one. So what we're gonna do is if network dot is server. I I love Unity. It's so simple. Then we call the command just locally. And then add the else for every another server. I'm done. And then if he dies, we're gonna need another RPC. RPC public void uh, client. I died. Um, we're here. We're gonna need. No, we're gonna need, not gonna need it here. Um, well, I'm gonna just do it simple. In the play manager, add another game ob a game object. I'm getting to get. Hello, sorry for the interruption. My mom <laughs> called me um, to have dinner, and I did some other stuff. But uh, let me see if I'm still recording. La 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 la. Yeah, I'm recording. Okay. Uh, let's go on. I don't really know where I stopped because of the other stuff. Uh, outside view. Then client die. Then we just disable it. Not set active. Then we call it a false. Then RPC public avoid client. I'm alive again. Well, if you want to have fun name, funny names, then you should do that. But I'm gonna name it client um, player alive, and this one is gonna be player dead. Then we're just gonna do is true, true. Um. Well, that's basically it. Well, no. Uh, we need two variables called factor 3. Fact, not factor 3. Factor 3, and we need to call it current position. We need a public career law. We call it current rotation. Simple as that. Then I'm gonna minimize all of these, and we're gonna add a void a fixed update or fix or update if you want fixed update. And uh, oh, okay, if network view that is mine. Oops, my keyboard is doing weird. Else, current if. Okay, uh, let me explain the is mine. A network view is an object owned by a player. Um, if it get instantiated by the server, the server is the is the is the owner. If it gets instantiated by a, a, a other player, then the, that player is the owner. Um, well, every player is gonna instantiate his own player manager, so uh, it automatically gets is his own. And everybody will know that it, it is his own, so that uh, this will always work, except when you change the owner. Um, but now we're gonna do that if you are the owner, then we're gonna set the current position. Oops, set the current position with the the controller. This with your controller uh, transform position. Oops. That. Dot what? Dot position. Sorry. And current rotation is controller trans uh, form dot rotation. Simple as that. Then we're gonna copy this. Copy this. Copy this. This. And copy this one and is 
done. Now we're gonna have to copy uh, a function from the scripting reference. Let me see where the scripting is. And just type in network. Good network. Then here you see unserialized network view. Unserialized network view is 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 a method used to synchronize uh, variables over the network. Uh, but there's a limit here and on bitstream and then if we go here somewhere it says the limit of what we can send let me see let me see um, yeah state synchronization state synchronization means that like if I go here first push controller no well never mind well with state synchronization you have reliable here RDC and you have unreliable Reliable means that if you send a message and it gets interrupted or for some reason, then everything is gonna be halted till that message is received. So your client is gonna uh, is gonna send it. It's gonna send it till there he's gonna uh, he's getting a confirmation uh, that uh, it is received. And unreliable means that he's just gonna throw uh, messages at the server because uh, he doesn't care. But Unreliable. That is uh, the. This is what we're gonna use for the player, cause you don't want to have that players if they are lagging for a bit. That everything is gonna be uh, is gonna be standing still. Now we're gonna use unreliable so that when a player is gonna lag, ha is gonna have lag, he's just gonna be standing still, and there's no, no uh, there's no go uh, there's um, not gonna be uh, major problems. Re and we are going back here. Just copy. Oops, I need a fight. Then, if we go back to the here, then we'll just copy this one. I'm lazy, I know. Here, Steam is writing. Steam is writing is only true if you are the owner of the network view it's, it's, it's basically the same as this one only uh, this one is kind of different because uh, well it's not different it it's works exactly the same only stream is writing is only going to be true if the player is connected and if he is the owner fix it but it's always true if you are the owner um blah 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 blah, blah. steam blah, blah. Then we just need a uh, stream stream dot serialize ref. If you're using JavaScript, you don't have to add the ref. Um, I'm still I'm still learning the basics of uh, C sharp coding, so I don't really know what ref means. Just copy it two uh, one more time there and two more time here. Then replace the second one like that. And then you're done. Uh, that was for the so that you can see where the player is. Now we're gonna do that. If the player spawns, you're gonna see the uh, we, we're gonna need this one. We're gonna uh, call th uh, this function. If the player is gonna die, we're gonna need to call this one. We need a network view dot rpc. Oh come on! I don't have much time, so I have to quickly, quickly <coughs> wrap this up. Uh, RPC mode dot all, and then you're done. Um, okay. Uh, multiplayer manager. Here we're gonna need a public multiplayer manager player manager. Um. Well, no, that's not gonna work. Well, yes, it's gonna work. Sorry. Um. Then here at start, we're gonna do this player. That uh, play manager is this. Then oh. Hmm. Oops, I what multiplayer manager it has to be player manager, sorry. Uh then we're basically done with that. 
then if the player wants to spawn like here we need um, client okay that's for the client for the server uh, for all then if here then if um, player is my player like that no 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 okay we can do that is my come on my player dot uh, network else okay here we're gonna do that my player dot control no dot manager dot controller position transform dot position is gonna be uh position copy it replace position with rotation we're done here we're gonna do that um, well here we're gonna do nothing basically we're gonna do that um, well it's not safe because if the if the client code is um, is compromised let me say that <laughs> um, he can stay invisible but nobody can, will ki can nobody can kill him but he can kill everybody but that's your problem to fix but I don't think uh, since uh, if you're follow following my tutorial it's not really for a big game if it is you really have to think over this one um, we're gonna do my player that player manager network view RPC we have to go back to player manager and we have to copy the, um, the client player live then we do RPC mode all no wait others if you send it to yourself you're gonna see yourself and then you can shoot yourself and that's not that's not the not the idea here then if this gonna be sent see each other now we need to make the spawn button and to make the spawn works we need to call the our network that RPC um, we need to call this one comma RPC mode dot server comma uh, network dot player done well, since it, it is a RPC server, we need to add if network view that uh, is server. Then we need to call it locally with this parameter and add else. And that's it. Here we need to uh, add another variable called um, match loaded why because otherwise you will see the spawn button when you are loading the match and not when the match is loaded so boolean match loaded uh, make sure when uh, when you are gonna get at a, a, a mode watcher or something so you can check the the score of the players and that it's with the limit then that you uh, disable match loaded otherwise it, it will glitch like in my game I already, I already fixed it because yeah uh, let me see match loaded and where's the on level on level on level I don't see it I'm blind fuck now oh, here it is uh, match loaded is true then we're gonna set up the multiplayer manager. We need a empty game object for this one. Make it zero zero zero. Multiplayer manager. Make the first person controller the cl uh, a child of it. Zero this one out. Add play manager there. Drag this one here into the controller. Um, if you don't have a soldier model, you can 
uh, what you can try is download bootcamp like I did and use the soldier model that is in there now I'm gonna pause the video so I can uh, grab the bootcamp soldier out of my project and I'm back here I've grabbed the bootcamp soldier the pilot uh, then just drag it into the multiplayer manager make sure it has the same oops same height same length you can see it's a little bit oh I have to remove the capsule uh, the graphics delete continue then if I watch the collider you can see that it's a lot of a lot higher then we need to lower this one with minus one but then you can see it's too short one dot two one dot two one dot two well it's yours to make it perfect this is on for the tutorial then make drag this one to the outside view and um, I noticed that you guys uh, forgot to add uh, network views to, to your uh, multiplayer s uh, manager uh, script uh, it is needed to send those RPCs otherwise they won't re be received and they will get you errors and maybe crash your game um, let me see A network view then drag here you can drag this one like this and drag it to the observed slot here and then you're done then we have to go back to the main menu scene or not sorry I'm gonna need an extra folder with prefabs uh, this multiplayer manager you have to drag it to the prefab folder go back to the main menu uh, we we are gonna need another here sorry uh, here we are gonna need another variable called public um, game object player manager manager prefab there done then when at the uh, let me see at the client at player to list if not for player blah 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 then we also need to instantiate so and we're gonna do this over the network so you have to do network instantiate prefab do factor three dot zero comma uh dot identity and then you have to uh, give it a group number I, I I always do five I always do one of the numbers uh, player manager okay uh, we're gonna need to assign the my player oh, wait no that's already get assigned sorry we um, let me see if I did it right this player yes okay that was it okay we need to make this a game object a game object player play is and then at the end you have to add game object you can't uh, make it as transform because it won't work you need to make it a game object then you do player play dot oh, come on come on come on dot get component player manager dot this player is my player that's done um... yeah let me see um... let me see let me see let me see yeah it's not gonna work um... we're gonna add a, a static uh... method public static void no public static mp player get mp player we're gonna sort it on uh, network players 
then we're gonna do a for each uh, MP player player now play in player oh wait um, multiplayer manager dot instance dot player list if play dot net work it is player then return player we have to call the break well done call break uh, it will stop when you do return and if nothing is fine then return null and I see that won't work oh wait no oh, yeah that's why it has to be play done then here at start, 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 start. Uh, we have to do that. Um, mm, this player is multiple. Dot get MP player network view dot owner. <coughs> That's done. If you go here, uh, here we have to assign the multiplayer the multiplayer manager prefab. If we press play, then we host the game. We start the server. Uh, well, here's something going wrong. We have to, yeah, okay. We have to make a tag that's called spawn point. Then we have to play some spawn points on the demo scene. Um, let me see where I will, where I'm gonna play some spawn points. Maybe on the mountain. Nope, here on the road. Okay, I'm gonna create a new game object, and I know this is not gonna work. Why? Because he's gonna spawn in the ground. Spawn point. Give the tag spawn point. Make it a prefab. Make it a prefab. Then delete this one. And spawn point will. You can just drag it then on the floor. Spawn point there. Spawn point there. Spawn point there. Maybe a spawn point there. There you're done. To make it nice. Make an empty game object called spawn points. Make zero it out. And select all your spawn points and drag it into spawn points. Oops. Spawn points. Go to your main menu. Press play. Close game. Start server. Start match. And then, what is happening? Where is my spawn button? Let me see what is wrong with this player. Well, that's working. Yeah, I called multiplayer manager. Yeah, I did. Well, he isn't alive, so why isn't it working? This player. Weird. Um, let me recall this one too. Player manager. Uh, let's disable the outside field in the beginning. Outside field that set is false then here at the multiplayer manager we are gonna do that okay um and, and is match loaded is match started but I still don't get it why it doesn't work Um I have to be fast. I'm almost hitting the one hour. Host game, start shift okay it won't show up anymore, but why don't I why I don't have a name? Why don't I have a name? That's why. Host 
game, start server, there's my name. Start server. I have a name now. <coughs> and but why won't the spawn in you go there? My player isn't alive. There are four spawn points. So why does the is match started match loaded? Yeah, that's about what white playlist. Why is it working? Maybe if I add a camera, game jet camera. No, it's still not working. I'm gonna speed up the video from here on. Still don't get it. Why it is not working? On GUI. On GUI. Okay, sorry, stupid mistake. <laughs> there be sorry. Well, that works now. Every press spawn. Oh! Oops. That's not right. If we spawn, spawn, spawn. Okay, we have to restart. We start. Host game, start server, start match. There we get spawn button. Spawn button, spawn button. Why doesn't it work? Because it is weird. Hmm. No errors at all. And play manager got it gets set. So why won't it? That's why I'm stupid. I'm really stupid. <coughs> if we go to start, um, here on the player is in the player alive. We have to add a if network view dot is mine. We have to enable the controller. And disable when we die. And if we go back, press start, host game, start server, start match, spawn, spawn. Does it get enabled? No, it doesn't get enabled. Why isn't it working? Spawn, please. Um, because we aren't. Oh man, I'm too tired for this. Um, okay. Um, we have to do um, um, get player or instant. No, we have to really do multiple image dot get player um, a player that is alive is true. Uh, what do we have more? Play health is 100, player is alive, player is alive, if the play health is 100, so health is 100, save, I still don't get why it, why it, it isn't working. Oh, it disappeared. Um, 
<coughs> um, let me see. I I think I did something wrong. At here, I did something wrong. Um. Um, play manager that net for fuel that RPC. There is a net fuel on it. It should be working. Let me try it with the build. getting tired of this. Um, of course, uh, well, that's a little bug, sorry. It has to be here. But it isn't getting called for some reason. So, let me check this. Of course, I did others need to send it to everybody. Save it and it going back. And then, if you go to host game, go to start ship, go to start mess, respawn, and it should work. Yes, it works. Finally. Okay, for the spawning under the ground, we need to add an offset to the spawn position. So, here we're gonna add a spawn effect tree dot. No, not dot. Uh, we're gonna make a new. Factor tree. If you use JavaScript, you don't have to add new. 0.2.0. Now we're done. If we then press play, host game, start server, start match, spawn, respawn on the ground, and it all works. We can shoot, we can shoot. Um, well, yeah. Then we still have to fix the. Um, the something I don't know why the client doesn't get well a basic way to solve it because since uh, everybody is loading and you can't receive and the RPCs will stack up while you are loading uh, he will get the message when the match is loaded so when the on level was loaded we do if the player is the server, we send the RPC to everybody, saying that the match that the server is loaded. Client, server loaded. Then we do match loaded is true. If we do a simple network view dot RPC. To everybody. RPC no, that all no all buffered save it going back okay we're gonna just gonna try it out on how much <coughs> play play come on play uh, host game start server go here refresh connect Start match spawn. Okay, and I'm still not getting it here, but I can press disconnect. 
So what I need is a second camera. Yeah, well, that worked. That's gonna work, I think. I'm gonna let the um, the build host so that we can see any errors that is coming. So we do here, start server. Oh, okay, firewall. And we are gonna do refresh, connect, start match. Here we get spawn. And here we get the error. The error is climbed player live because network view scene ID1 doesn't exist. What? Why? Because there's only one player manager. Why is there only one player manager? That's weird. <coughs> If we go here, if it's mine, and I still don't get it why it goes wrong. Network network dot instant yet play manage prefab is on zero zero and then five as game app object. That works, but why does it get instantiated over the whole network? Okay, we're gonna run some tests. game start server um, start match oops well I was a bit too soon well, 50 and 1 why does it say that 1 doesn't exist level prefix 1 oh the prefix uh, let me see if I'm white we had to uh, we had ignored prefab, but I don't think I have. Let me see where I have. Yep, no, yep, no. Uh, well, I'm just gonna remove that. Maybe not. has to be all buffered. Uh, then we have to find this one. Client load multiplayer map. Load multiplayer map. Wait, that's not here. That's on the multiplayer manager. Okay, multiplayer manager load. Yep, okay. Comment out the prefix and then it, it should work. If we make a build, we host, we start, refresh and connect, start match spawn. Uh, I'm gonna move from this place. I still don't get the uh, spawn menu. Don't know why. Try the then try again. I'm terribly so sorry for this. Uh, for this, but this is one of the uh, little things you get when you're developing a game. If we go to start here, we don't guess we get a message here that we can spawn. So what the problem is, is that is we that the play manager isn't set up. Missing? Oh, yes, now I see. Play manager gets destroyed because it gets instantiated while the level is loading. When the level is done loading, everybody, everything from the, for the, from the other scene gets destroyed so what we're gonna do here is add a 
don't destroy me with game object let's start pause and start and remove this one and build one play play house game start server refresh to connect start match spawn we still can spawn why can't we spawn we have to try it again try again and try again and try on error I hate this host game start server refresh connect start match spawn Okay, another error. Does not exist in any script of multiplayer manager. Multiplayer manager. I did something wrong. Uh I really did something wrong. No, I did not something wrong. Multiplayer manager, multiplayer manager, play manager. Has to send to player manager. Then why does it get sent to multiplayer manager? Because I did something stupid, that's why. Client sponsor. Ah, play manager. Da, 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 da. And the client player alive. Play alive. Gets play manager. Network view. Why? That's weird. It's really weird. Why can't he find it? Uh, I don't really have a clue what's going on here. Uh, except uh, that I'm really tired and that maybe I'm not seeing it. Um, okay, let me try it one more time. If it isn't working, I will wrap this up, tell you some stuff, and then uh, I will continue. I will find out what the problem is and I will continue the tutorial series uh, uh, another time. Then for this video, I'm gonna quit because it's already been one hour of recording and my throat is really hurting me. Oh, now I see. Um, no, not really. But... Nope, I really don't have a clue what's going on here. Player and then position and then the rotation and then it has to be all fine if I'm white. But I really don't see why it's it's failing at the moment. And I don't really know why the client can spawn. Why does he get a spawn button? It's, I'm really I'm really not seeing this yet. Uh, um, I really don't have a clue what's going on here. My player is sent alive and missed is started. And let's is missed started is false if we press spawn. We can't get spawned because it isn't working. Why is it, it working? The if is server, otherwise send it to the. No, don't tell me I forgot to. No. No. No, I forgot. Okay. 
Okay, um, I will find out why it doesn't work at the moment. But now you have kind of a clue what I was trying to do. Well, if you understand what I was doing. If you don't understand, you have to wait um, for the next video. I really sorry for this. Uh, the next video will maybe be recorded in the weekend or after the weekend. I really don't know. I really have little time left. Um, and yeah, if you have any requests or questions, uh, just place them in the, in the comments. Um, if you need help with something and um, you're not being rude like some of uh, the commenters, then we will we, we will be more than happy to help you. Uh, but then I will see you guys till next time.